Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you. You are watching the third video in Azure Networking. And in this video, we're going to see Azure Network Security Group, NSG. So the topic is prepared in a way to give you an idea about what is Azure Network Security Group in the beginning. Then we will see a demo on how to create Azure Network Security Group, how to associate a NSG to Azure Virtual Machines and how to edit network security group. Some other topics also need to be covered to complete your knowledge in network security group in Microsoft Azure. So you can see the next video is about network security group that is service tag and logging. So we have two more videos in the list to talk about network security group. So I really recommend you to watch the complete videos to make sure you covered all the topics related to network security group. Azure NSG that is network security group is a network filter. We can call it as a portion of the firewall because a firewall does more than what a network filter do. NSG is a list of rules to say yes or no to the network traffic to Azure resources like virtual machines. So with NSG you can manage the incoming and also the outgoing traffic. So this list that you create with NSG gonna define the rules to allow or deny the network traffic to Azure resources and you can use source and destination IP address, source and destination port address or TCP or UDP protocols. When you create a new NSG rule, you have to give a number and that is called as priority number. Lower the number, higher the priority and the priority values start from 100 and go to 4096. So rules with the priority closest to 100 will be enforced or will be effective. When you create a new NSG rule, Network Security Group in Azure, by default there are some rules available. But with very lowest priority, let's understand what are they. The first one is virtual network. In the previous video, I explained to you that when you create multiple subnets inside a virtual network, by default, the communication between these subnets are allowed in bound and outbound direction. So these rules are by default created in, in a virtual network. So when you create a new NSG rule, by default, the traffic originating and ending in a virtual network is allowed in both in bound and outbound direction. Then internet. By default, when you create a virtual machine, internet is available in that virtual machine because the outbound traffic is allowed, but inbound traffic is blocked. Then load balancer. Microsoft Azure allow load balancer to probe the health of your virtual machines and the raw instance. So if you're not using a load balancer the setup, then you can override this rule. One important thing you want to understand is when you create a NSG with no rules, it have some default rules and this default rules cannot be deleted. But since they have the lowest possible priority, they can be overridden by the rules that you create. Once you create a network security group rules, you can associate those rules into virtual network interface of a Azure VM or you can associate it to the subnet. When you apply those rules to a subnet or associate those rules to a subnet, then the rules are applicable to all the virtual machines inside that subnet. If you apply to the virtual machine network interface, then that is going to be applicable or the rules are going to be effective only to that virtual machine. So these are the two options that you can create a network security group rule and you can associate with a virtual machine network interface or you can associate with a subnet. Now you may have a question that which one is going to be effective when you have a rules for a network interface card and also a subnet. So we will make it clear here. For example, you have an inbound traffic. The inbound traffic will reach the first to the subnet, right? And from the subnet, the rules are created to allow. So the traffic gonna allow inside. And when it's reached to network interface, you have a rule to deny the traffic. Then the last inspection is going to be at the network interface so it drop the traffic when you have an outbound traffic and you have a similar rule then the final inspection of nsg is going to happen at subnet level so if you have a allow rule at vm level then the traffic gonna allow and at the subnet level if you have a dinner rule 
as it is the next level of inspection point it gonna drop that packet so this is easy to understand if you want to give a try to Microsoft Azure networking there is a one month free trial with $200 credit is available you can enroll it before we move to the demonstration let's understand what we're gonna do in the demo part so our plan is to create two NSG rule and associate one with the virtual machine network interface card and the other one with the subnet uh, then we will see how it works so for that I need a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure then I need a subnet I need a virtual network so in the previous demonstration I show you how to create a virtual network how to create subnet how to create a virtual machine also so I'm not going to do all these steps again if you are not sure how to do these things I advise you to go back to the previous videos and see how to execute those steps so before you start you need a virtual machine to be ready you need a virtual network and a subnet to be ready so all the details of uh, resource group vnet and subnet everything is shown in this uh, diagram so first we're going to create a rule that is for the subnet with the priority 150 and we're going to allow rdp and https second we create a network interface nsg rule with the priority 160 and we're going to delay rdp so even if we allow at the subnet level we're going to deny it at the network interface level so the effective rule is going to be deny so we will see that here then we're going to associate these two rules to network interface and subnet then we're going to test it so let's move to the demo login to portal.azure.com then first we're going to create a virtual machine before let's have a look at the virtual network that we have created in the previous demo we have demo test that is our virtual network and the resource group name is network demo azure location east us inside this demo test we have two subnets one is production and the other one is test let's create a virtual machine and connect to test i'm going to do this quickly because you know how to create a virtual machine from the previous videos click to create a virtual machine then fill up the fields then I'm gonna go to the networking just to remove the default network security group that gonna assign to this so we can create our own NSG and assign to this one and select subnet test because this is what we mentioned in the lab details then I'm gonna create it click to create now the virtual machine is ready now let's go back and create network security group so you can select the network security group from here or you can search for network security group then you can see there are some existing network security group anyway we're gonna create a new NSG click on add button and select your subscription and resource group we're gonna choose the same resource group here then so I'm gonna give a name NSG test because this network security group is for subnet and choose the right region then click next for the tags this we will explain in the coming video then you can review and create it now the network security group deployment is progressing now go to the resource NSG test that we have just created what you see now are the default rules that we explained in the beginning of this video so let us create some rules here I'm gonna create an inbound rule 443 then the priority I'm gonna create is 150 let's name it 4443 then add the other rule I'm gonna create is for RTP so 3389 then I'm gonna give 151 then let us mention here 3389 or you can give RTP something which you can easily understand later so now you can see two rules already that we have just created now let's go back and create another network security group for the network interface for that click on the network security group and click to add 
then select a resource group then name it nsg vm network interface card one then review and create it click to create so now the second nsg group is ready let's go and create new rules here so this is going to be applied for network interface so as per our plan we're gonna dna rdp here and allo https so the port range is 443 and the priority we're gonna give is 160 so let's give a meaningful name port 443 then add then the second rule that is for rdp the port number is 3389 then we're gonna dna this then the priority number is 161 to understand we're gonna give 3389 then click add so now two network security group we have created now come back to the network security group you can see two new rules has created one is nsg test that is for subnet one and the second one is nsg vm nic one that is for the network interface of virtual machine with nsg test that we created for subnet we have a rule to allow rdp and https so once we apply nsg test to the subnet all the virtual machines inside have access uh, port access to rdp and 443 https then once we apply the second rule that is for the virtual machine network interface then in that rule we have mentioned to dna port 3389 so in the first we're gonna apply rule nsg test for the subnet and that gives us a permission to rdp access to our virtual machine and we will try to access it and the second time we're gonna apply nsg vm nic1 that dna us the rdp access so we can see how the rules are gonna work to apply network security group to a subnet let's go to virtual network that is demo test then go to subnet then from here click on the subnet that you want to apply nsg from here you can select nsg the nsg that we created for this subnet is nsg test so just select it then click save now the nsg has applied to test subnet let's go back to the virtual machine and we're going to try to connect to this virtual machine with the public ip through rdp so for that click on the connect then download the rdp file then open it then click to connect now you can see it asks for the credentials and it connect to the virtual machine by rdp because the rules that we assigned to the subnet is now to allow rdp and https so by that way all the virtual machines inside that subnet gonna have rdp and http access effectively now let us apply the second rule to virtual machine network interface in the second rule we have mentioned that to dna rdp access that is 3389 port click on the networking then from here you can see there is a network interface here and you can click on the effective security rule there is no network security group rules assigned to this network interface so that go to the network security group then click to edit then here you can select a network security group so the one we created for this network interface is nsg virtual machine network interface so we applied it then click save to become effective so as we applied the second rule to network interface we're gonna lose our rdp access to the virtual machine so let us try to access this virtual machine again Now you can see the remote desktop access has denied. So this is how to create and associate network security group rules. Now later if you want to edit any rules, you can go back to the network security group and select the NSG that you want to edit. Then from here again you can 
create new rules that amend the network security list for example 8080 if you want to create you can create, give a new priority number then click add so let us summarize what we have learned in azure networking network security group we know what is network security group now and how to create it how to associate with subnet or virtual machine network interface but there are some other topics also need to be complete to have a complete knowledge about network security group and that will be released in the upcoming videos thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe my youtube channel